with me. Do you think you could help me find him? You will? Thanks. Where do you think? You think he maybe he's down here? Polly! Polly! Are you down there? I don't see him. Oh, you think you think maybe he's up there? Polly! Are you up there? Polly! I don't see him. Maybe. Maybe he's over here. Polly, you silly puppet! Hmm. That side? Polly! Where on earth could he have gone? I'm definitely gonna need all of your help. You, you think he's back here? I was just back there, I didn't see him. I'll go check for you though. Oh! <laughs> Polly, you are the, he is the best hide and seeker I've ever played with. You are so silly. Polly and I were talking about all of our friends last night, weren't we Polly? Polly was feeling a little bit confused and sad because he, he was missing everybody and he wasn't able to see his friends. Maybe you're feeling the same way. So Polly and I thought, hey, why don't we get all our friends together and we will read a book and maybe we'll do an activity, we'll learn some sign language and that would make us all feel better and have a good time learning. Doesn't that sound like fun, Polly? I think so too. We are so happy. Polly, look at all those friends out there. Later, Polly's gonna get his binoculars and he's gonna spot a couple of you out there. But first, let's get ready to read a book together. Sound good, Polly? That sounds great. It's great to see all of our friends. Reading with Polly. May I Please Have a Cookie by Jennifer E. Morris. Mommy was baking cookies. Alfie loved cookies. He loved to smell cookies. He loved to look at cookies. But most of all, Alfie loved to eat cookies. Don't grab, Alfie, said Mommy. Can you think of a better way to get a cookie? Alfie thought and thought and thought. Then Alfie got an idea. He found a big coat and a big hat. I want a cookie, said Alfie in a big, deep voice. Oops. No, Alfie, said Mommy. Think of a better way to get a cookie. Alfie had another idea. He went outside. Mommy put icing on the cookies. Then she saw something. Get down, Alfie, cried Mommy. Think of a better way to get a cookie. Alfie thought of another idea. He went to his room and got some paper. He cut and he colored. Soon, Alfie had his own cookies. But he still wanted a real cookie. He began to cry. Mommy hugged Alfie. Your cookies look yummy. May I please have one? Then Alfie had the best idea of all. Mommy, may I please have a cookie, he asked. Yes, you may, Alfie, said Mommy. Thank you, said Alfie. You're welcome, said Mommy. Guys, thanks for that for joining us for that wonderful story. That's one of my favorite stories, my please have a cookie. The reason I like that story is because we learn about using our manners and nice words. What, le what words did we learn there and what signs? What word did we learn? Please, thank we learned you. please, may I? thank you, may I? may I please, can I? What about you? Now. What's that? Have it now. May I have it now? How do you say that? Please. Please you're welcome, we learn. Mm -hmm. A lot of nice words that are really important when you're talking to your friends, when you're talking to your family, to teachers, to your classmates, anyone. You want to use your manners. 
So what we got today is we got a bunch of Play-Doh. We have a bunch of Play-Doh in the house, but if you don't have Play-Doh, there's recipes online that you can even make your own Play-Doh, which is also another fun activity. And we decided that we're gonna make a bunch of cookies of all our different kind of exotic flavors. Tensei, you look like you're making an exotic cookie. What is that? It's, um, so the bottom's like just like a purple, it's just a cookie, but it has like purple coloring. So that's like a purple cookie. Maybe that's like a grape flavored cookie. It looks like it has confetti on top. Doesn't that look good? Confetti. And I, mm. I'm playing cookie, but it's mixed in with two flavors. Two flavors. It green like apple. Green apple. I see that. blue raspberry. So there's green apple and then there's blue raspberry. Mmm, that looks delicious. Cameron, what kind are you making? You look like you're making a Bright Science cookie because it's purple and orange. Yeah, is that a Bright Science cookie? Yum. What about you over here, Jack? I'm making a really big square cookie with mint chip. You know what I love about that? Sometimes when we think of cookies, we think they have to be round like this, don't we? But cookies come in all shapes and sizes, so you can make different shapes. You can use cookie cutters to cut them out. And the other thing is, who remembers in the story, what did Alfie do when he wasn't using his manners and he wasn't getting a cookie? What did he do to, did he make some of his own cookies? Yes. What did he make them out of? Paper. Paper. He used paper, he used scissors, and he came in and he cut out some some cookies just like this and spend some time doing arts and crafts in his room, right? Sometimes it's important too when we're being a little bit grumpy, which I think Alfie was, sometimes you need a little alone time, right? A little time in your room to kind of sort things out, maybe play with your dolls, do some arts and crafts, do some coloring. That always calms my body down, calms my mind down a little bit. So I'm making a paper cookie, just like Alfie, and I'm wondering who would like to taste my cookie. So there, whoever's gonna get this cookie better have a big appetite. It's a mintish lemon cookie with purple, special, magical <laughs> chips on it. I Mookie, would, would you like to ask me for this cookie? No thanks. Oh, you don't me, want this please, kind of cookie? Me, yes, please. so how do you ask nicely? May please have that. Magical cookie? Yes, Thank you may. Mmm, how's it taste? Mm. Like magic? Tastes like magic? Tensei, would you like a taste of my magic cookie? Yeah. It makes me feel magical. Magical. I love it. Uh, so there's a lot of fun things you could do with cookies. If mom or dad is up for the challenge, you could maybe, or grandma, you could make some real cookies. Maybe have a tea party with some of your stuffed animals. But there's a lot of fun things. So remember, you can use Play-Doh, clay, paper, just like Alfie did. And always, always, always use your manners. So thank you for joining us for our book and our activity. We hope you had a fun time. Hi friends, Polly and I want to say how much we enjoyed spending time with you today. Thank you for joining us for our book, uh, May I Please Have a Cookie? That tells us to practice our manners, right? Like please and thank you and you're welcome are some of the signs we can use, right Polly? So those are important signs to use your manners all while you're with your mom and dad and your siblings. And Polly, you've got binoculars here yet again. I think I've seen these before. I know what Polly likes to do. He likes to look at his friends. Look at all those friends out there, Polly. Who do you see? He sees Lucy. And who, oh, we see Miss Newman's class. Sure we do. We see Cam and Iris and Aiden. And uh, who else do I see? I see Arthur and Phoenix. Did I say Lily? Because I see Lily out there. Thank you all for joining us, friends. We look forward to seeing you the next time. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you soon.